Well hey there folks and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here and it's time for another beer review. Now do me a favour, as I said at the beginning of every video, if you've just found us here on YouTube then like, share and subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We like hoppy beer, we like good house music. Um, we're on the Easter weekend right now so I hope everyone out there is having a great Easter weekend. Uh, time off with the family and that kind of thing. The weather, it's sort of sunny and quite warmish outside. Apparently it's going to snow. It's all that about. It's Easter. We have had snow before Easter, let's face it. Uh, I'm back in work Monday. Um, 12 hour shift on a bank holiday Monday. On double time though, so we'll have a bit of that. Uh, so I thought I'd do a couple of beer reviews, uh, but I probably will put them up next week because I'm back into work Monday, so it'll probably go up next week. Uh, so if you're watching this after this time, this is how I spent my Easter weekend. Okay, um, we're going to do some beer reviews as I said. Next Saturday, just quickly before I move on to the review. Next Saturday, the 10th of April, check out the other video. We're going to do another live stream, so on the house music side. It's going to be uh, Saturday the 10th of April from 6pm. I think I'm probably going to watch the Grand National first and then get in the mood, but it's 90s themed. So if you want some classic 90s house and dance probably about 6 p.m. we're going to start but I will put up another video just to confirm the starting time there'll be three DJs set times and all that stuff right beer review time let's go okay so today we're going to do uh, a couple more craft beers um, a few more IPAs I'm going to do some more traditional stuff again as well coming up on the channel because I know I know it's called the hop house and it's hoppy beer and I do a lot of IPAs and uh, I don't know do some more New England IPAs and pale ales as well, but I'll also look at some more traditional sort of best bitters and amber beers and that kind of thing Just for the traditionalists out there. Right. What we're going to review today is craft beer in a can um, now I am quite new to this uh, We started the channel uh, Coming up to five six months actually so uh, been going a, a few months, but not massive amount of time uh, And I do tend to focus on stuff that's easy to get so I'm not looking for these out there hard to find um, beers to review. I'm not that kind of beer reviewer yet. I'm still quite new to the game. Uh, so I like to get stuff that's quite easily accessible to everybody. So this one we're going to review. Uh, I've had this about six months. So I did buy it in the last little craft beer festival they have. So watch out for those because I think one is due soon. Come on little, sort it out. But this was in the last one, I think it was in the last two or three actually of last year, from Loch Lomond Brewery up in, up in Bournemouth, Scotland. And it is their, if it'll focus in, Lost in Mosaic. It's a New World IPA. And is it going to focus in on the ABV? I don't think so. 5% ABV, 440 milliliter can. And it's got a lot of trees on the artwork there. Uh, Loch Lomond Brewery, they did do quite a few of the beers um, in the little craft beer festivals uh, over last year and on the whole I didn't have one I didn't like uh, they were pretty good to be honest so I did leave a, a can of this left over and I thought you know what I'll review that on the channel um, for those that didn't see my earlier videos we did the what have we done we've done the Witchwood dry neck I forgot the name of it then which were dry neck, uh, that was a four percenter, that's mosaic hopped. We also did the Hawkshead Brewery mosaic pale ale, which was lovely by the way, that's mosaic as well. So mosaic hop is actually my favourite, my favourite hoppy beer. So um, I'm really looking forward to this, it's been in the fridge for a while, uh, it's probably been out of the fridge about 10 minutes or so. So we'll uh, get it out into the glass and uh, get the old appearance. So. Got the cider glass because it's good for swilling. I need to get some more beer glasses as well. Um, it's another thing I need to look into when I've got a bit more time. Uh, trying to sort out my wedding at the minute because we've had to rearrange it for a fourth time, me and my other half. So we're just trying to sort that out for July. So hoping we can have the right amount of guests there. You want people to be at something like your wedding, don't you? Right, so there it is in the glass. It is a um, rather cloudy. It was a bit hissy when I opened it, but it's calmed down a bit now. Very cloudy, some really good levels of carbonation. Um, nice white head. Look at it when it swirls around the glass. It looks really, really good. Looks like your sort of orangey fruit bomb, sort of New England style beer, actually. Um, hazy. 
I'm looking to see, yeah, there's definite sediment floating about. I can see it. Don't know if it'll pick it up on camera. I'm not sure about this camera picking up the sediment, but I can see it in there. So that's what it looks like. Rather impressive, actually. Oh, yeah, you can really see when you hold it up to the light. Oh, sorry, you probably can't see it at that camera angle. Um, but when you hold it up to the light, you can really see the carbonation going up the sides of the glass. Uh, and it's got some cracking lacing on it. For those that love the lacing. So... Go get the nose in there, time to give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Divine. Mmm, absolutely divine. So, it's mosaic hop, so you're expecting dankness, you're expecting sort of a grapefruity, piney, maybe a bit of gooseberry. A um, little bit of mango coming through as well, actually. But mainly grapefruit, pine, um, and sort of sourness of like a gooseberry. Oh, stick my nose in. Save that bit for later. Yeah, it looks absolutely, uh, sorry, smells absolutely fantastic. Looks absolutely fantastic. I think we're going to have to taste it, aren't we? I'll tell you what, I'll taste it for you. Let you know what it's like. Bottoms up, down the old hatch. Oh. Oh, that is divine. Oh, oh, I love mosaic. I love mosaic hop. Oh, it smells lovely. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tastes quite similar to, um, it's got a little bit more to it. I wonder if there's another hop with it. I don't know if it's just mosaic on its own. It tastes like there could be a sea hop in there. Sometimes I do put mosaic together with some of the sea hops. They usually work quite well together. Um, but it's definitely got... That's oh, really nice. And it mellows out quite pleasantly. It's not really wire in the aftertaste. So... Hmm. I could drink lots of that. Lots and lots of that. Shame it's 5% and not more session strength. Um, look at it swelling around the glass. Look at it. It is a heavenly beer. So in terms of flavour, it tastes um, maybe to do with the, the thickness of the appearance. It tastes very thick, really nice mouthfeel. So whether it's actually got oats in it, so it is like New England style, I'm not sure. It certainly does taste like it could. Um, it also has uh, the elements of mosaic into it so the taste wise hot profile wise bitterness down the side of the tongue there's a little bit of sweet from the malt that goes down the middle it actually stays there it's quite nice that um, so it's a sort of nice bittersweet balance but you get the dankness from the mosaic hop so you get grapefruit you get sort of citrus um, you get pine needle that's sort of still down the sides of my tongue it's weird it's st this is a beer where in the, in the back end in the aftertaste it stays on the side. It doesn't go to the back of the tongue, where like a lot of the West Coast style, where it just sits at the back of the tongue and it's raw. This is almost it's like a juicy mouth feel at the back of my mouth. It's making my really making my saliva, my mouth salivate. Um, and then the uh, down the sides of the tongue, it tastes like a pine forest. So it is sort of piney, which you kind of get. I feel like I've drunk loads of conifer trees or something. And that's weird because um, I hate the smell of conifers. I get, I get hay fever, right, in the summer. And I know conifers are all year round, but around about this time when we're getting into spring, uh, I can smell when the grass gets cut. So when the council are cutting, there's a park not far behind it where we live uh, and our housing estate. And when they, they cut the, the grass, mow the lawn, oh, I can taste it, I can smell it. It sets me off. Even now when we're in April, it's not good. Um, so the conifers... I tend to find things like conifers when it rains. It hits me. Luckily, it's not on this beer. We'll see in five minutes if I'm sneezing my head off. It's the mosaic hop. Oh, man, can you imagine if I was allergic to mosaic hop? Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Cheers. Definitely has a thickness like there's oats in that. That is tremendous. Now, from a price point, like I said, this was in... The 
Lidl Craft Beer Festival. I think it's about £1.59 a can. That's usually their price point. £1.59 to £1.79. So you're talking about £1.60, £1.80. It's under two quid a can for a 440 milliliter can of that quality. Come on. You can't go wrong at that. You really can't. Right, let's read the back. Uh, what does it say on the can? Excuse me. Iconic beers, iconic beauty. Hello. What moment? New World IPA. Citra Mosaic. I said I thought the beer be a sea hop. Sometimes I do whack it. In fact, funnily enough, um, a few videos back we did in a bottle the Backyard Brewery, Backyard Brew House, Gold, Backyard Gold, and that was Citra Mosaic, and that was sensational. This is a bit thicker. It's got a bit more going on, which is why I wondered if it had oats in it. Uh, pineapple and citrus aroma, orange and melon flavour, fresh citrus finish, unfiltered for maximum flavour, keep chill drink fresh. Then there's some really small print. Ingredients, malted barley, wheat, and then stuff in different languages. So it doesn't look like there is actually any oats in it. It's certainly got the mouth feel like it could have oats in it, I'll give it that. Uh, yeah, so when the next little craft beer festival is coming up, look out for that. Loch Lomond. I think they did, they do another one as well. I don't think I've reviewed it. don't think I did. They did another one as well, which was a Session Strength New England IPA of about 4 4.5%, 4.8%, something like that. That was, oh, that was out of this world. That was so good. It was ridiculous. For the, pro, you know, £1.79. So yeah, get that. Seriously. Look out for it. Uh, There's got to be a two thumbs up from me. It's um, absolutely sensational. Again, split around in a glass just for those that like the lacing. Look at it go. Laces up the glass. Oh, really nice. Although it tastes like it's got oats in it, it doesn't taste juicy. It's got the dankness of the mosaic and the citra hopping. And then the sweetness of the barley, probably the barley um, going through the middle, the malt. It's tremendous. Absolutely brilliant. Top notch. Um, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to do a couple more beer reviews for today and then call it a day. Um, and then hopefully you join us next Saturday for the live stream. Ciao for now, people. See you in the next one.